I thought I'd be back in a couple of weeks. Don't count me out. I'll be back in December or I'll be back in January because, you know, you're always emailing and setting up matches and stuff. I tried to get back and never thought I would get as sick as I did. December 9th was the turning point when they vented me. I remember them prepping me for that and I just closed my eyes. I just prayed to God and I just remembered that I had been in surgeries, you know, five times a year before and I had been intubated. And so I thought, this won't be so bad, Lord, I'll be okay. I'm just gonna take a nap. And I just closed my eyes and then I didn't, when I was finally aware, when I did wake up, when I was aware of my surroundings, it was in February. I was telling them that I was being discharged. They just put it upon themselves to, to show up and it was really nice to see them and I got hugs from all of them. So my first lesson with Mike, of course, I was really happy to see him and I couldn't even hit a ball. He, he couldn't be on the other side of the net because I couldn't hit the ball like that. So he'd come over to my side of the net, feed me the ball. I started serving from a chair um, just because I couldn't do that forward motion. That was like, I don't know if I'll catch myself. Oh. Advantage wedding. It's really helped with my diaphragm and my breathing. So he reminds me still to breathe out, you know, to take that breath in and blow it out. And all that type of work is what I need to get my lungs strong again and be able to take in that oxygen. So that's why I like coming back to tennis. I always want to be here. <laughs> this is my happy place. You know, when you go somewhere and they say, oh, we'll go to your happy place. Mine is thinking about tennis. That's my happy place. <laughs>